Okay, week 14, Smart Citizens. Let's click through and find our course on the web as well as Canvas. All right, so I've updated this week's uh, publication for what's happening this week. So Monday evening class, I don't have a planned topic. I, I wanna give you time to get everything done. There's quite a bit still to get done. Um, so I will be available in the classroom 6.30 to whenever. Uh, questions, advice, support for your final project. Remember, we have a final sprint presentation in two weeks on the Monday, uh, May 6th class. You'll also need to prepare a demo screencast uh, for your assignment due on May 8th. Uh, I'm, and I'm linking all these things here just to remind you. I removed two weeks of the blog posts. I think we've, we've had enough. Um, I made one which is due this upcoming Sunday. Um, data leak and it's it's from a new york times uh, article which was just published yesterday and uh again we, we saw her work uh i think you should take a look at it it, it has a lot to do with uh, the concept of data exhaust and um and so take a look it's a really short one really it's, it's a very short post uh, compared to some i've sent you before trust me this is a short one go and jump in and then dig deeper um, as far as you want to, to into this topic. Okay, so submit that for Sunday. Again, flexible um, submission dates. Uh, but again, remember, all things must be due May 8th, um, except for something down below. I'll talk to you about it in a second. Um, it's academic regulations. We cannot assign assignments or receive assignments after that last day of class. Now, given that you have a last assignment, which should be a big one, it should, uh, if you look through the details, it says you should have like 10 references. This is a overall post about everything you've learned and thought about and reflected on during this course, this semester. Um, you can always pull in stuff from, from your past as well, um, but it's a significant one. Again, it can be a blog post, but if you wanna do it as an essay style and submit it, you know, do it in Microsoft Word or LaTeX or whatever you want to use, and then submit it to me as an assignment. Reminder to Ken, I should go and make sure that that assignment actually has a submission link. Uh, I'll have to check it. Oh, well, I'll go through and check it here. I can't check because I'm not logged in on this screen. Um, check for your final meeting as well as any other meetings that haven't been ca um, categorized. It's your job to go in and say, we met on this date, and you can make some notes as well, so I can give you those points. As I discussed the other week, if you don't feel comfortable doing this or you just feel you're pressured for time and you can't, just let me know and, and, and I'll and submit that, tell me, and then just submit it for the points. Uh, remember that these are not necessarily about course content. The majority of people that come and visit me are coming to visit me about advice for their futures going forward whether it's for work, whether it's for study or other things that are going on in their life, I'm here, you can come and talk to me if you don't feel comfortable talking in, in, a, in a room here where everyone can hear us outside, we can go for a walk into the hallways and have a conversation. Uh, most of the people that visit me are not my current students. There's no three meeting limit. You can spend 15 minutes, you can spend an hour, I've spent two hours with students discussing uh, things they, they wanted to discuss, so there's no problem there. Um, going forward, you can always contact me via Twitter or Facebook or email or use my scheduling system. Um, there's no limit to, to seeing me about what you need. Teaching evaluations open up tomorrow. These are very important. I will stress they're anonymous and we don't receive the results until after all the semester is over, grades are submitted. Usually, actually, they publish this on the day of the graduation ceremony, actually, um, traditionally, uh, or it's just a coincidence. Um, these are very important for ourselves as well as our administration to get a feeling of how, how things are going in the classrooms. Uh, I take them very seriously. I want 100% participation always. It gives me a better view of what people are thinking. Um, the comments are more important to me than anything else, but of course, our, our administrators are going to rank us on the numbers. So pay attention to that. Take You probably take an hour to do this properly. I mean, seriously, because you need to answer seven, eight, nine questions about every professor. I think you have to ask questions about your director of your program and maybe other courses you took. And then comments 
add that all up and it's probably going to be about an hour. So grab, you know, a drink of coffee or something and sit down when you have time to do this. You just need to do it before May 8th. I made an assignment called course evaluation. You might want to go and look at that. Basically it is two tasks. Um, complete the teaching evaluations. Give me evidence. Again, I can't force you to do this if you don't want to, or you don't or whatever, you can just you can submit that you decided not to. Um, I do appreciate if you do it though. It's really, really important for our feedback. Um, and then write an essay or blog post. You could submit this privately or write in public, whatever you choose, giving me more feedback directly to Ken, not so much in the open for um, all the administrative staff. If you have some things you want to say directly, you can do it in a blog post publicly, or you can do it privately and send that to me. And I made that as a one point assignment. Um, it looks like I didn't have a submission in here. I better fix that. Um, and I think that's pretty well it. Um, next week will be pretty much the same. Um, I just want to give you time to get things done. There's a lot to do. That one assignment is pretty big. Um, that's actually due on May 12th, which is our exam schedule date. Um, and I'm doing that because this is in place of a final exam. So I'm not breaking academic regulations here because this assignment is in place of your exam. Okay. Um, and I'll wrap up because I'm just talking and talking and talking on a bad microphone here.